everyone. Hi there. I'm Natalie Hillman and I run Wistons Hillman Creative over on the edge of Trowbridge and I offer marketing strategy, brand development and PR to businesses. And Helen over here. Hi, I'm Helen Baker from Helen Baker Designs. I help small businesses and entrepreneurs amplify their impact through effective marketing design and I live in Bradford-on-Avon. So we thought we'd uh, jump online today to have a chat with you all and um, talk to you about marketing. Um, you may well recognize both um, from the Business Women in Wiltshire um, meetups. I run the Bradford-on-Avon one and the Westbury one. And I run the Business Women in Trowbridge meetup. Okay, so you've definitely seen these faces before. The ones that you can... Mugs. <laughs> these mugs um we're not mugs look at my mug <laughs> anyway um so helen's going to tell you a bit about what we're going to say today and what we're going to do um we're both actually working from home today uh, which seems to be the new normal so if you see a bit of um activity going on behind me there is a small person running around dressed as a princess yeah ditto i've got uh preteen sons and a, and a puppy kind of all happening behind me so yeah who knows what will happen but we kind of wanted to come on today and talk to you about changes in this current climate. No one knows what's happening. Everything feels very uncertain. Um, and there can be this kind of rising feeling of um, unease and overwhelm that we just thought, actually, let's come on here and talk to you about how we've been feeling and actually what we can do to focus our energies and attention um, to doing something positive with our businesses um, and to look forward really so that's why we've come on and we want to, to we're going to ask each other questions about marketing and how we help our clients because we do similar things um, but also we, we, we're different as well and we, we often work together we're a good team um, and we've had joint projects that we've collaborated on um, so we just thought coming on this kind of Facebook platform just to talk to you might help some of you um, who are uncertain where to start um, with a place to focus. So, Natalie. Okay, so um, I think we're definitely all feeling um, a level of overwhelm and I certainly know me myself has been in a sort of stuck in the rabbit headlight. Um, stuck in the rabbit? Stuck in the headlight. You know what, you mean. You know what you mean. <laughs> See, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, so yeah, certainly we've all been feeling confused and. How, not really knowing how to go forward so I've since had some clarity and with chatting with Helen um, we can now sort of advise and help you guys on how to go forward with your marketing so let's start question time Helen tell me um, what you would say to a client who phoned you today and I I'm all over the place for my marketing I don't know what to do in light of the current situation with coronavirus what would you say to them where would you say to them to start well, that's, um, that's quite a big question. Um, and again, there's so many things that you can do and so many, you know, the temptations to write a list of all the things you need to do. And that can, for me, often add to a feeling of overwhelm. So I would strip it right back to basics and just think about particularly, I mean, I help clients with their, their website and their sort of visual messaging and visual identity. So for me, I'd strip it right back, for example, to... Um, all the content that you're putting out there so that could be your website your social media and really focus on the one goal that you want those places of of information to achieve so what what is your website goal if your website has the overarching goal of getting customers to perhaps sign up to a newsletter or purchase um, a product or a service or to just make contact in some way make sure all the information on your website um, just points customers in you know towards that goal so making sure all the call to actions are in line with the website goal all the information is sort of in a, a natural order for your customers to click through um, on each page and you know their questions are answered just try and think of a, a brand new customer coming to your website and making sure that all their questions are answered so that's just stripping your your business whatever industry you're in right back to basics and just thinking what's the website goal what are my what are my customers coming here for 
and trying just to answer those basic questions and actually it can be quite useful to, to go through that process with someone else just to have a fresh pair of eyes looking at your mm. website and just sort of saying why is that there or what's that there for or that could that go on a different page perhaps mm. just to work with someone and sometimes two heads are better than one especially if you know your business inside out um, and that's yeah. where you know Natalie and I have helped each other about our content and our, our websites and it's just so useful to run that past someone else especially if you're used to working on your own. Definitely. And I think also, Helen, we talked about it earlier that there's a lot of noise out there at the moment. Um, so it's making sure that your message is clear and that you stand out above the rest. And that's where continuity and consistency and how you look to the outside world is really important. Yeah. And I'd say with that, you know, because everyone is going on online, you know, there's already a lot of noise online, but this is kind of even more um, content that's being added out there. And so many people just kind of scroll, scroll, scroll on their devices you know, every day. That's how we're consuming content that, you know, your images, your, your visual presence really has to stand out from the crowd. So make sure you use, you know, a consistent color palette, consistent fonts. I know the temptation if you use kind of an online um, design suite such as um, Canva or some of these apps that kind of create posts for you. It's very tempting, tempting to get carried away and think, oh, I like that colour palette. I've never used that it's one. It's so before. jazzy, isn't it? Yeah, so jazzy, so <laughs> kind of out there. I, I love it. I want to try this one now. But Shiny. sometimes <laughs> we just have to rein that kind of that sense of wanting excitement. to try stuff out. <laughs> yeah, excitement and experimentation. Just to keep make keep your brand looking consistent and professional. So your customers are getting the same tone the same professional look every time. So be consistent, be professional, have the same fonts, the same um, colors, use your logo consistently, um, and just make sure that you're kind of pr very present, very visually present um, in all your content. Absolutely, and I think that takes us on nicely to, um, it's a time where you need to be present, you need to be, um, in front of people. People are desperately searching for a voice that they trust. Um, they want to know what um, what is happening with the people that they work with. So all of your clients are going to be feeling a bit wobbly. Um, so it's really, really key that you're present at this time, communicating with people, um, letting them know what's going on. If that's by putting a message on your website or on your social media to say it's business as usual, um, keep the line of communication going. Um, and also to just to keep an eye on the language that you're using as well. I've seen some some businesses out there saying, if you don't buy from us, we're going to go under, which is really sort of guilt tripping people and um, making people feel bad um, in a situation where people are already feeling quite bad. So um, I think just using positive language and making sure your tone of voice is um, reflective of who you are and who you're, uh, what your business does. Yeah, and I quite often you might have. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> we've just got we've just got lots to say. I was just going to say it's it's really important at times like this to to really tap into um, a feeling of empathy. You know, yeah. actually try and think about how your customers are feeling, not just how you're feeling. Everyone is in this in this uncertain time together, but try and work out how your business can serve other people and put that positive spin on on if things if you can. Um, but really trying to think of things from your customer's perspective rather than your own perspective um, is really useful. And I, I also think this is this is the time and the time to be human. This is the time to show your emotions, show your feeling. You can say that you're you're scared and be honest and open, but without that sort of layer of, of desperation, maybe that, yeah. that we're all kind of experiencing a blind but, panic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but just trying to put keep professional about it. Um yeah. but just to say we're human, you know, we're we're all going through this together. And yeah. you know, hopefully things will become a little clearer and a bit more positive, you know, as the time progresses. But you know, we are all in it together. So we need we need to stick together. And you know, our clients and our customers are part of our team. They're, they're who we are. They're in Definitely. it with us. So we should keep Definitely. communicating, you know, keep all those lines of communication open, you know, be on social media, provide um, service and value, you know, where we can. Um, and all of that sort of links 
back into a question that I wanted to ask you, Natalie, because as you often say, you fly the flag for traditional marketing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've done a very grown up thing of sticking our business cards on, on lolly I've got sticks. A biro. I've got a lolly stick. Got a lolly stick. Lollies. Uh, <laughs> and we thought this could be quite a fun thing to do if you want to take a photo of you with your business card. Kind of, it's linking up the person and, and the business because we're all human and we've got to kind of fly our own flags in a way. Definitely. So, yeah, we'd love to see your Definitely. business cards um, and you flying your flag for your business and whatever that might be in the comments below but yeah, yeah my half definitely. finished question to you natalie was you fly the flag for traditional media uh, marketing sorry so yes. can you define what do you mean by that okay so sort of it, it's my definition really but i would say that traditional marketing is um using all the elements of the marketing mix um together in harmony so not just using one part of it um not just focusing on that um, but using it all together so that um it all sort of goes around like a wheel um, often you'll find when people um, say I've tried everything nothing's working with my marketing you look at the marketing mix and if something is out of kilter whether it be the price whether whether it be the product the place motion the people processes all the P's um, so that that's what I would normally do with a client is look at the marketing mix and see where see where it's sort of um, a bit wobbly yeah that um, makes sense but yes, I mean, today, what I'd like to focus on quickly is um, promotion. I think that's a good, good place to start. Um, so one of the five P's. So I'll just go over the P's again. So the five P's of marketing are price, product, place, promotion, people. And if you're in a service related industry, which a lot of us are, you've also got processes and productivity. So you can see that all those things are going to be affected by something like this. Um, so over the coming days and weeks, I will talk about um, each one in turn. But what I'd like to focus on today is promotion. Um, so today and now is a really good time to look at all your channels of where your marketing is. So Helen's covered off website, um, which is obviously very important. Um, look at all your social media channels. Which ones are you on? Which ones seem to be working? Which ones are you feeling comfortable with at the moment? Um, I certainly know that Facebook was, was a difficult place to be um, a couple of days ago. Um, a lot of scaremongering, a lot of fear. Um, but I've seen, a, um, and I hope you guys have too, I've seen a real shift, um, perhaps a U-turn in the way that social media is um, playing out at the moment. And suddenly, uh, humanity and kindness and wartime spirit has um, come into the mix and people are start, starting to show their, you know, their wonderful side, their helpful side um, and, and really empathizing with everybody. Um, so it's a wonderful time to be on that channel. So yeah. think about how you can, how you can do that, um, which brings me on nicely to, um, it's a wonderful time for PR. If, um, if you've got a story to say or to tell about what you and your business have done in this time, Perhaps you might have been delivering to old people. Um, you might have been um, delivering Mother's Day gifts that you didn't normally. Um, at. Um, the media love to have good news stories and they are probably very fed up of printing and um, publishing stories about coronavirus and how it's all so awful. They're now going to start looking for humankind good news stories. So if you've got something like that, now's the time to ring the radio put it on your website write to the newspaper ring the newspaper because they're going to be desperate for content so really think about pr and good news stories um do some videos like us yeah. um even though we're all completely housebound <laughs> you can use we're all in the same boat though so <laughs> we are all in the same boat i wish we were on the same boat um yeah being but we are in the same boat isn't it yeah, definitely. So really have a look at your channels. Um, it might be another thing I found out yesterday, which I thought was um, of real interest, is that some of the local newspapers or the regional newspapers have slashed their advertising rates. So as some of you know, print advertising can be really expensive. Um, but some of the local newspapers around here in Wiltshire and Trowbridge 
and Westbury and Melksham, um, they've actually cut their advertising rates by 50%, which is a huge, wow. huge um, drop. But also the interesting thing about this is those publications go through 12,000 doors in Melksham and 10,000 doors in Westbury. Now these might be your target market, the people that aren't looking on the internet, the people that aren't scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, these might be the generation that want to read the newspaper and see it in print. So if that's your market, then perhaps look at some display advertising in a newspaper. And I reckon they're so um, I think you'd be able to knock them down. So yes, so that's just a <laughs> sorry, that's a, just a few few ideas for the channels of marketing that you can use, and that comes under promotion, which is in the um, five slash seven P's of marketing. Just to just to kind of add to your point that you know people are obviously at home a lot more. Um, it I've we talked talked about this earlier about how the pace is kind of slowing down. People are less frantic because they're not <laughs> rushing from place to place. So to kind of utilise that, you know, you've have got a um, an audience at home that might be on social media a bit more. Um, so they might have time to read blog posts in in greater detail. They might be sharing content with people a bit more. Um, yeah. So kind of harness this audience who are at home and um, whether that's through traditional print media or you know social media online um, just thinking about the content that you can put out there and how how that can actually help people um, definitely in whatever way that, that might be I know certainly from my point of view and Helen I, I expect you're doing the same that um, us as parents there's so much out there um, online um, helpful stuff really really helpful stuff about how to work at home when you've got children um, but also things about their mental health uh, your mental health mm. how to perhaps home educate your child because in the coming months we're all looking at homeschooling um, but if you know about those things if you know about mental health if you know about schooling if you know about well-being when you're working at home write something about it put it out there now's the time and everyone is being really supportive so let's you know turn this negative into a positive and get ourselves out there totally so i think that's probably quite a lot for now we don't want to overwhelm you with no well, this isn't about overwhelm this is about coaching marketing well. magic <laughs> and i've got one here that is that is helpful hosts as we we are helpful hosts <laughs> host of bwi meetups and as we we can't be there in person to, to meet with you we want to provide a sort of helpful service online as helpful hosts so Your if you have any questions hosts. if you have any questions about marketing about websites about design then please do just kind of put your your um subject or your question or query in the comments and natalie and i will take a look at them and then hopefully jump back online in a couple of days or so um, and help answer those questions um, to provide kind of a, a bit of a, a way to move forward um, for you and your businesses. Yeah, definitely. And I think also um, every, in times of um, transition and change, people really need to um, grasp onto some anchors and things that keep them steady, keep them calm, keep them um, you know going in the right direction and we want to be that for you so if we can help in any way please oh, just yeah. pop in the comments oh yes oh yes <laughs> please just put it in the comments below and we will make another video based on what you'd like to see um also in the next sort of 48 hours helen and i are going to put out a couple of downloads which might be helpful to you um mine's going to be um the five and seven p's of marketing so you can that's a little worksheet that you can just work through um and go through your own peas go through your own peas and Helen's going to do um sort of like a website and social channels um kind of review. Audit review we don't like the word audit audit's kind of a bit too scary but a kind of review scary we don't want to be scary no we don't want to add to the scary, We're not scary. Just, just a few kind of questions and pointers <laughs> thanks Natalie to to think about um for your website but it could just be you know you start to, to just think about a few things um and that might gradually lead to a few changes and tweaks that you make but it's all a, it's all about manageable little steps that you can take towards moving forward um for you and your business and 
you know, the BWI platform has been so supportive to us and, you know, we love hosting the meetups. We love going to the big events. Sadly, they're not happening at present. So we want to kind of offer sort of an online version of them um, with mm, us. As which is starting in April, I believe. Um, yeah. So the, behind the scenes, the girls have been working on um, a platform where we can all meet virtually. So it'd be like this, but with more of us. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can eat the biscuits. <laughs> I won't be able to give them to you. Um, bring your own biscuit policy. Bring your own biscuit policy. Yeah, yeah, yes, cool. definitely. Um, so those keep an eye on the group for those happening soon. Um, I know there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes with that. So, um, yeah, so I'll just hold up my little flag. I've got mine too. So, yeah, take a take a screenshot or a, a selfie of you, you with your business card on a on a pop it in the comments, pop it in the comments <laughs> below and just kind of let's keep visible. Let's keep present. Let's keep in contact and keep in support. Um, during this very absolutely time. stay visible ladies we're all here for you yeah when women support each other incredible things happen they certainly do yeah hi everyone talk to you again soon bye